no. I am picking up a mobile order for Matt. Thank you. It's time for a workout. It's yoga Wednesday, so I've got my yoga mat. Wednesday. Happy day in the life vlog. I don't think I've actually said hi to you yet. Um, but we had kind of a slow morning. Um, just started off with some Jack in the Box because baby wanted a breakfast burrito. And sometimes you just got to give it into the cravings. So we got that. And then I did my yoga workout, which you guys saw. And now we're on our way to my 34 week doctor's appointment. Um, I'm actually 35 weeks, so we're a little bit behind, so it'll be interesting to see whether they check me or not. Um, thank you. Matt just ran up to grab my purse. Future mom and dad on our way. I forgot my mask, so Matt's letting me wear his. But he doesn't have one now, which is so sad. <laughs> it's okay, my, my reusable one arrives on Friday. Yeah, I think mine comes on Saturday. Then I'll look like Darth Vader. <laughs> Did you pass, Squishy? Huh? Did you pass? I did pass. <laughs> they gave him a mask though, Yay. so that's good. Because they are nice. Yes, they were very nice. Got our, our packet. It's getting real. <laughs> Smiling, but you probably can't tell. I can. Your, your eyes look cute. No, they no, they look angry. No, they look suspicious. Oh, the baby's kicking me. All done with our doctor's appointment. Everything went well. Um, I'm still measuring a week behind bundle height wise um, but that's totally within normal variation so yeah we have next week we don't go in and then the week after we go in and they'll start like checking me and then we come in every week so very exciting we're on our way home now I'm gonna make a smoothie and then I think we're gonna attempt to make a peach pie because Matt requested that I make a pie um, and I got a poop ton of peaches <laughs> from Imperfect Produce um, and I've never made peach pie before so that'll be fun. Megan. What makes the Fundal Heights so fun? What? I don't know. Oh. I want to know. I thought you were going to be clever. And you were just disappointed. <laughs> She made me the most delicious smoothie ever. Because it's made with love. <laughs> also, it's peony season, and I'm so excited about it. Did Daddy just give you guys treats? Were you so excited about that? Like, I got what I needed from you. Now you're dead to me. Maybe there's more over here. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> I love when they go up on their back paws like that. Much cute, very, very fun. Soft. Wow. <laughs> okay, now grilled cheese? Yeah. Yay, you're the best husband ever. I'm the luckiest pregnant woman ever. Don't you forget it. And right after that, I'll make you pie. <gasps> pie? From scratch. You look scratch so cute. Pie. I cut my hair again yesterday. It's not. I didn't style it too. Terrible. Either. It's not, it's not, I feel like I did better the first time, but it's I'm, not terrible. I'm just happy to have it shorter. Yeah. Yeah. A little less annoying for you. Quarantiners can't be choosers. <laughs> you look really cute. Always. I hope our baby looks just like you. I hope he no, looks better than me. Please don't eat my peonies. That's not don't nice. Eat, don't eat your peonies. All right. Much cute. So, Matt and I just got back from our walk that we do every day. And I have package, and it is a curtain rod that I ordered like ages ago um, from Amazon. It's just like a matte black metal kind of a deal. Um, and I got it to put up some um, like light blocking curtains um, to hopefully make sleeping in a little bit easier and also for sleep training for the baby. So we're going to put this up. 
which is really exciting. And then I thought I'd also show you guys some other um, like tweaks that I've made around the apartment decor wise and stuff because we've rearranged not like a ton of stuff, but a few little spots and I think they look way better. So I'm really excited about that. Of course, it's already really dark in here because the sun's not out. Yeah. So, yeah, that didn't really do anything. Okay, so this is what they look like. A couple of things. First of all, they're really not room darkening. Like you can see the light through them, like even just on the camera. Um, they're also very wrinkly, so I need to iron them and I also need to hem them because they are ridiculously long. Yeah, you can tell we bought curtains like once in our life. Yeah, <laughs> and we got them in the as is section of Ikea, so they were like pretty cheap too. Full transparency, our bed did not get made today. So that's why all this stuff is here. So this is one of those little areas that we switched up. We put our humidifier in this little Sansevieria plant there. And then this is just like headphones and candles. So this little corner of our bedroom looks like this now. Ignore the um, <laughs> stuff to make the bed on the floor because sometimes we do that. But it's one of those days I'm feeling very low energy. We also put this coffee tree, which you probably saw in my last vlog, um, in this little corner here. I still really need to get a new pot for it because this brown plastic one is not the vibe, but I do really like it over here. And then over here, we took this bench that used to be in our bedroom and put a bunch of our plants on it. So if you guys remember, there used to be like three mismatched side tables right here. Um, and I like this a lot better because it's just a lot more open. Like when you walk down the hallway, it looks less cluttered. And then I actually think the bench with all the little plants on it is pretty cute. So those are all of our apartment updates. I need to take a break and sit down because I'm really, really tired. Um, but I do still want to make pie tonight. So I'm gonna rest up and get my game face on so we can make some pie. All right, I'm showered. I've got all my ingredients out. We're gonna attempt to make this pie. I'm a little bit intimidated because I need like a bowl of ice water and a pot of boiling water and I don't have quite enough peaches, um, which is crazy because I have 15, but they're all like really tiny. So we're still going to try and see how this goes. <laughs> so the first thing I need to do is do the pie crust. Um, and I'll link the recipe for the pie that I'm making below, but I'm actually taking my pie crust recipe from this super cute little cookbook, um, which I got on Amazon, which I'll link for you guys, but it was like three or four dollars. Also, if you guys can hear talking in the background, Matt's streaming a video game, so sorry about that. Two cups of flour. I just got this today. I was so excited to see it at Trader Joe's. This flour has been in short supply recently, and I make a lot of bread, so I use a lot of flour. One cup of shortening. This looks really gross. <laughs> Ew. I don't know why I think shortening is so yucky. Salt. So I'm looking at the ingredients, and it says flour, shortening, salt. Use a pastry cutter, which I don't have. Then it just says slowly add ice water until dough holds together. So I guess that's what this is for, but it doesn't say how much ice water. So hopefully I don't mess it up. Don't have a pastry cutter. We're that just gonna use us. our hands. Is that gonna work, do we think? Ooh, that shortening is greasy. Hopefully this doesn't change like the texture of it at all. I didn't think about that. Okay, I'm gonna try to get as much of this off of my hands as I can. How much water should I like start with adding? like a little little bloop it actually seemed to work really well so the correct amount if you're wondering is a bloop right. i have attempted pie crust from scratch before and it has not been good so i'm hoping <laughs> this one is a little okay, better so. here's our little dough baby hopefully this is what it's supposed to look like it feels right, kind of right It's just cracking. This is not going well. Well, clearly that's not gonna work, so. 
Okay, the internet said it was probably too dry, so I added more water, and we're gonna try this again. See, it still looks like it's already cracking. I don't know, is it like too wet now? Maybe I should just try to like press it into the dish instead. This is not Great British Baking Show. It doesn't need to be perfect. Mary Berry would be so disappointed in me. All right, we're gonna call that good enough. Okay, everything's covered in flour. <laughs> this is kind of a hot mess, but shouldn't affect the taste. I'll try to make the top really pretty and maybe that'll redeem me a little bit. Popping that in the fridge. Okay, so now I have to boil these peaches for 60 seconds and then immediately dump them in the ice water, which sounds incredibly stressful, but we're gonna try it. Hey, this isn't going well. Oh no, I believe in you. <laughs> Now I have to peel all of these. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. That took 10 years. Everything is covered in flour. This is kind of a mess. Um, I'm going to attempt to roll out the other thing of Thai dough, just to see if adding the extra water even like got me anywhere or helped at all. Because this seems really, really wet, which I'm kind of concerned about. Okay, that worked way better. So I'm actually gonna take the other pie crust out and <laughs> We're gonna try to use that maybe as the lattice top. I don't know. Hmm. Well, you know what? We're learning. I am so tired <laughs> from standing up this long. Being pregnant is no joke, man. But I have to add sugar, lemon juice, cinnamon, nutmeg, salt, and cornstarch all to this peach mixture. So that's what I'm gonna do now. Okay, this is how she's looking. I'm gonna attempt to salvage this into the lattice top. And if not, we're gonna do a crumb topping. That looks amazing. The kitchen looks like a pop <laughs> Baby, it looks so good. Yay, she doesn't look too bad. If I was not pregnant and exhausted, I would probably try to like clean it up a little more and make it look nicer. But honestly, I am pretty happy with that given that I didn't even know if the crust was gonna be salvageable at one point. So we're gonna pop her in the oven. First, I gotta take a selfie. kitchen is mostly put back together. I am starting to have some Braxton Hicks contractions because I've been on my feet for too long. So 
So I'm gonna go take a load off and read while this thing bakes. I'll show you guys the book that I've been reading. This is the book I'm reading right now. It's like a young adult fiction fantasy novel. Um, and I got it at the thrift store months and months ago just cause I thought the cover looked cool. And it's okay so far. I'm like probably almost halfway through it. Um, and it's not like the most riveting thing in the world, but I can't go to the library. So my reading options are limited. Okay, she's out of the oven and she's looking good. That took over three hours. <laughs> My body's kind of wrecked. Um, but based on how hot it is and the fact that it's already 1040, I don't think we're gonna get to try this tonight, which is sad. Um, but I will check in with you guys tomorrow um, for a little taste test. I'm really nervous, I hope it's good. <laughs> okay, Matt's gonna cut the pie. Sounds good. It's very wet. Oh no. Mm, it'll be juicy and yummy. It'll be soggy and gross. Mm. What do you think? The peaches are really good. And the crust is flaky and doughy at the same time. Well, that's the most effort I think I've ever put into something you've asked me to bake, so hopefully it's you delicious. like it. It's delicious. Okay, I have to clarify here. It's not actually doughy. It's just wet. Wet from the peach juice, and Matt doesn't know what he's talking about. All I know is it's delicious. All right, guys, I'm going to end the vlog here. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.